35 or 40 years later, uh, I found these manila envelopes uh, at, uh, at my mom and dad's house. And they were filled with all the drawings that I did from the first to sixth grade. And my grandmother had kept them. And, uh, and so my mother presented them to me and, and said, you know, um, take a look at these. You might be interested. And I pulled them all out. And sure as heck, there were all the drawings I did from the first through the sixth grade. And um, the ones that I found to be the most interesting were all of the ones that I drew of my family because every time I drew my mother, I drew her with blonde hair and blue eyes. And it was just astonishing. I never realized it. All these years, here, you know, my father, my sister, myself, and there's my, who's this blonde, you know? And that was my mom. And I'm sure I did that because, um, you know, for every good intention, it was, I wanted her to be the ideal mother. And that's what it took to be ideal at the time, was to have blonde hair and blue eyes. But what was even more interesting was that the third grade drawings were of myself with blonde hair. So, you know, after a few years, I didn't settle for just my mom, but I wanted to make idealize myself too by giving myself blonde hair and blue eyes.